Our pipeline is, uh, is very exciting because we have a product that just entered proof of concept phase, uh, phase 2A, if you will, and it is NPSP 795. It's an ultra rare condition called autosomal dominant hypocalcemia. We estimate that there could be two or 3,000 patients suffering from this condition worldwide. So some people call it nano orphan uh, condition. And uh, so the condition autosomal dominant uh, hypocalcemia is an interesting condition because it has to do with the calcium sensing receptor in the parathyroid glands. So in our parathyroid glands, we have a receptor and the receptor is like a thermostat. It really regulates, if you will, the level of serum calcium. And that's basically what the calcium does. And fortunately, in ADH, uh, the, ca the uh, calcium sensing receptor is defective. It's a genetic defect. And it misreads the level of serum calcium. And it reads it as high. And because it reads it as high, these patients excrete calcium through their uh, kidneys all the time. And they suffer, therefore, from a very unique condition called uh, hypocalcemia, so low level of serum calcium, and hypercalceria, so high levels of, uh, serum of um, urine calcium uh, excretion. And it's a very unusual condition because it's hypo and hyper. <coughs> Unfortunately, there is no treatment for this condition because the only intuitive treatment would be to give these patients more calcium. And fortunately, because the receptor is defective, the more patients get calcium and take calcium, the more they will excrete calcium. So it's a condition that affects kids and adults. And uh, the primary, if you will, um, symptom is hypocalcemia, so low levels of serum calcium. But at the same time, these patients suffer from significant renal diseases. So 795 is a small molecule that fixes the receptor. That's what it does, okay? So it's an optimal uh, mechanism of action, and we have proven it in, uh, in uh, animal studies that it works. The whole rationale behind the proof of concept is to demonstrate that it works in human as well. So we're very excited to be at this stage of our development and we expect to report top line results the, towards the end of the first quarter 2015.